Hello my friends and welcome back to Coffee Tea Paper. This week I have two beautiful spring happy mails to share with you. This one is from Victoria and this one is from Serviana and funnily enough they both live in the same state that I live in and they've both used double wombats. So the wombats have been marching in two by two this week. Um, the reason I'm not covering my address there, so don't panic, is because I actually have a P.O. box and I share that address on my Instagram anyway, so it's, it's okay. Now this lovely one from Victoria has come in this uh, folder with bespoke which I think she may have stamped on the front and she has included it in a plastic pocket because it's been quite wet this year. You may have seen in a video I did earlier in the year that we had some flooding here in Brisbane and it's been quite rainy and sometimes it pays to put your mail in some plastic. <laughs> um, I do keep those plastic uh, pockets and I do reuse them. And here she's included lots of beautiful spring themed items, vases in watering cans, butterflies on flowers and I really like that coffee and friends stamp as well. Here's, she's popped in a whole bunch of goodies, a little stamp to things on craft papers, different um, types of craft and uh, yeah all these uh, kinds of little bits and pieces are really useful. Some vellum and here that's actually a piece of um, fabric with a bird on it and even though it's mostly a spring theme it's quite handy um, because obviously we're in southern hemisphere and our northern counterparts are coming into autumn and I have quite a few international pen pals and it's quite fun to send them autumn themed mails at this time of year so there's some thoughtful inclusions there. Now in this uh, big pocket on this side with the beautiful butterflies is this really nice bookmark it's really thick and sturdy and it's a good size so as I'm one of those people who have multiple books on the go at any one time that is going into one of my ones which may or may not have the corner of the page folded over these labels that Victoria has shared with me are really cute and I like how she's popped some in as well as using some on her mail and she knows that I love gardening as she also does so often our letters are comparing about what we're growing in our garden and what's going well and what's not going so well either and she also has an Etsy store where she puts um, beautiful handmade cards in often using fabrics so that's a really nice touch and she sent me some seeds for my garden so I'm just thinking about where I'm going to plant them at the moment I'm, they're an annual seed so they're for spring colour but they can be planted in spring and summer so thank you Victoria that was lovely and this one's from Serviana now I have covered this over because it has my surname on it so I keep that private and She's also taken anti-wetting steps and popped her happy mail in some plastic as well. Now every time Seviana sends me some mail, she always uses something different. She's very inventive and we do like using a lot of um, repurposed things between us and I sent her one that was from some actually very quite luxurious junk mail that I received and I'm looking at that folder and 
Yes, that turned out to be something that she had upcycled from a supermarket here, which was really, really clever because I couldn't see any clue of it at all. She also has a nose for finding amazing things at her local op shops and uh, that bookmark is one of them as well as some of that uh, lace and uh, trim. Now she's popped in some serviettes. I know Serviana does some decoupage and I've, I've tried using serviettes before and I've not had much luck. They always look wrinkled and a bit, they don't feel very nice and yes, but um, she has inspired me to give it another go because she has discovered that you can just glue it on with glue stick and it works just as well. And in fact, that's what uh, Serviana has done on that orange folder that we'll have a look at shortly together but some really really beautiful patterns and colors and she's also sent me this card which was another one of her amazing finds and uh, from the glass house mountains this so it hasn't come very far but uh, i love that glass kind of um, pear snuggling on the branch together so yes, so this is her little upcycled folder, which is just so cute and so beautifully done. And I can't bear to snip this wax seal because it's been so, oh, it's just perfection. So I, I slid it off and it's always nice to receive something that's been personalized. And yeah, I'm just pointing out that that is that uh, same serviette that she has uh, employed on the front there. Employed, deployed, utilized. Hmm. Been playing Wordle too much. <laughs> and some beautiful little lacy embellishment and she's popped in lots of really gorgeous goodies. I just paused over that jar because Serviana, whose uh, Instagram handle is my dot meraki dot desk is running a challenge on her instagram at the moment all around vases and bottles and decorating uh, decorating them and creating uh, i suppose you call it like a cluster cluster challenge yes so if you're interested you should definitely go and check that out she has a very unique style and um, some very inspiring um, creations on her Instagram feed that's what I'm trying to think of yes and yeah so lots of cute little things here I could have really done with a pair of Wellington boots earlier in the year when we were battling the rain but uh, they might appear on my Christmas list you never know <laughs> some lovely vintage style imagery and another cute little vellum pocket here with a, a bird die cut. Uh, Serviana always uh, puts in lots of touches of uh, things with birds uh, in my happy mails because she knows that birds are my favorite animals and so that's always a really uh, thoughtful thing to do. So this particular mail is very spring themed, but she always manages to incorporate some lovely bird imagery as well. Uh, she also is very good at creating or well, getting sort of like fairly plain embellishments and then adding little touches of her own to make them unique so a little sticker or a little rub on or a stamp or a touch of watercolor or something along that line just to I, I guess give give it that her her signature touch I like to think of it as and there was a little surprise a pocket on the back as well with more goodies another one yes that would be handy for 
her challenge that she's running and uh, yeah lots of really interesting she always manages to find lots of really interesting um, stickers and um, cutouts and things and that, you know that butterfly in the frame that's that's beautiful and uh, yeah so lots of um, butterflies and birds and flowers yeah really really nice and uh, yes yeah, it's, it's funny so she's also popped in a couple of um autumn type things as well some some mushrooms and a pumpkin there uh yes because um she has a lot of uh, international pen pals as well so so that is my other mail so with these beautiful um and it's always fun when you get um, males at the same time and they team together really nicely because uh, I found it really inspiring I wanted to use some pieces from both males in my spread this week I'm still excited about celebrating spring and um, so the papers that uh, or the one of the papers that Victoria popped in and some of the stamped imagery and the stickers and those word they I just felt they all had um, a similar kind of feel about them and a similar color palette and so I whipped out my coloring in pencils because I wanted to add a touch of color to this stamped image which is always a fun thing to do if you get some stamped images from your pen pals um, or you send them um, yeah it's nice to be able to to color them in I'm a bit hesitant to do watercolor just in case the stamped ink they've used isn't waterproof and uh, yeah so it's perfect for coloring in pencils so I've just colored that in and fussy cut it a bit more and I love this Beatrix Potter paper here with the lettuces and the sleepy bunnies um, I'm currently growing some lettuces in my garden and they're going really nicely fortunately I haven't found any sleepy bunnies under them but I did see a rabbit when I was playing golf last week I hit my tee shot and uh, I'm pleased to say it was a really good one long straight the business and as I was walking to my ball, I had to walk a terribly long way. <laughs> um, that sounds terrible. Uh, a rabbit came out of the bushes and bounded across the course and he stopped and he looked at me and then he kept going across to the other side. So that was kind of fun, even though the rabbits were a bit of a... Uh, a problem here in Queensland I do still have a soft spot for them now just to tap into the vintagey vibes that a lot of these pieces that the lady sent me are, um, are giving me I thought I would do a bit of distressing and I'm I got uh, I think I got it off eBay but I found this uh, stack of containers and those little um, what do you call it like distressing tool thingies and um, I've got a mind blank those foam daubers would that be it and yeah so you can take off the little things uh, little daubers and put them in that stack and I have them labeled and yeah they're really they're really easy to use and um, yeah so I'm just I fussy cut the frames that Serviana sent me and I popped in the words that Victoria sent me and I think this spread is really coming together so 
beautifully. It's almost like they chatted together and said, oh, what should we send Louise? Oh, well, I'm sending Louise this. Well, I'll send Louise this and she can, she can make a really nice spread with all the beautiful things that we each send her. <laughs> And that's, that's what it feels like. And uh, yes, I, I just uh, really, really love this vintage spring page with including all, well, a lot of the, uh, the beautiful things that they've both sent me. And I wanted to pop in this bottle as well to remind myself about uh, the vase and bottle cluster challenge that uh, Serviane is running on her Instagram. I always keep meaning to join in and then when I sit down I just get like a mind block because often by then I've seen so many beautiful creations on Instagram I just think oh I, that's so lovely that's so lovely oh and I'm just popping in a couple of little notes about the fact that these are items from the Happy Mails and who sent them to me. And just as a little hark back to my uh, spring page from last week with the little um, tiny, tiny little doodles of um, little buzzy insects and dragonflies and things I thought I'd pop a few in this week as well and then I noticed some bits of my pages are looking a bit um, bland and it's kind of too late to do the distressing at this point so I'm just going in with this beige Tombow uh, pen which for those of you who are interested is number 990 and just ties it all together so thank you so much for joining me here and opening my happy mails with me and putting together a beautiful page with the things that the ladies have sent me. So thank you very much to you, thank you to them and uh, hopefully I'll uh, be back next week and we'll see what that brings. Bye!